Ladies and gentlemen, you watching the English news of Bingfu Cradle Television Station and Newspaper. I'm with you with the latest news for today. Exemplary collectives and individuals in studying President Ho Chi Minh's ideology honored. Tree Planting Festival launched a rap in food graphics. Party Center Committee gets up nice section. Ning Bing introduces Gok Phung National Park Night Tour. Bing Phu Graphics held a program on May 17 to discuss the study of President Ho Chi Minh's ideology and morality as part of activities celebrating his birthday on May 19. Over the past three years, the Bing Phu Party Committee and local authorities have directed their staff on studying President Ho Chi Minh's teachings. As a result, the movement of studying and following President Ho Chi Minh's ideology has spread across all levels and sectors and among officials, party members, and the general population. Efforts to identify, nurture, and expand exemplary models in this regard have been emphasized. The province currently has 1065 models of studying and following President Ho Chi Minh's teachings. Program organizers commanded nine collectives and 14 individuals for their studies, all of whom are outstanding figures from various localities and fields and share a common dedication to overcoming challenges and achieving significant accomplishments in their work and production activities, affirming the pioneering role of officials and party members in all activities. In celebration of the birthday of President Ho Chi Minh, localities in Bing Phu Graphics launched a tree planting festival with the team Eternal Gratitude to President Ho Chi Minh. The 2024 Tree Planting Festival in Budang District is a meaningful activity aimed at promoting awareness of World Environment Day on June 5th. This initiative encourages government officials, public servants, students, and the general public to participate in planting and caring for trees, protecting forests, and improving the urban and rural environment. The goal is to create a green and peaceful living environment in Budang District. During the launch ceremony in Domsa City, representatives in the Provincial Forest Protection Department and city leaders planted trees in Tien Hung Common. Under the plan, the City People's Committees has assigned a quarter of 8,000 trees of various species to commons, wards and departments with the goal of completing the planting by the end of May. In Bingtan Common, leaders from the Phu Riang District People's Committee, along with other delegates, planted 106 trees within the sports complex in Bingtan Common. Over the past five years, Phu Riang District has planted nearly 80,000 trees, significantly contributing to disaster prevention, environmental protections, and enhancing the local landscapes. The recent bonsai exhibition and competition held by the Bing Phu Provincial Ornamental Creator Association left a significant impression on visitors. The event was highly praised by bonsai enthusiasts, both inside and outside the province. The exhibition showcased over 300 artistic bonsai pieces created by more than 100 artisans and bonsai enthusiasts, all members of the Provincial Ornamental Creation Association from various districts, towns and cities within the province. Many of these pieces had previously won major awards at art exhibitions and competitions. They resemble miniature Asian trees in impressive and unique styles. Alongside the bonsai trees, the exhibition also featured over 100 artistic stone sculptures. These pieces were collected and crafted by members of the Dongsai City Artistic Stone Club, who searched for unique stones in various provinces and then crafted and displayed them to the public. The bonsai exhibition and competition aimed not only to foster an exchange of communication and experience between artisans, but also to encourage and motivate them to enhance their artistic skills and create ornamental products with high economic value. And now let's continue our bulletin with top stories around the country. The 13th Party Center Committee commenced its night session in Hanoi on May sitting under the chair of the party's General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trang. In his opening remarks, 
General Secretary Trong said the 14th National Party Congress is scheduled to take place in early 2026. This will be a significant political event and a highly important milestone on the country's path of prosperous and everlasting development. Regarding orientations for the preparation for all-level party congresses ahead of the 14th National Party Congress, the leader said the Politburo needs to issue a directive on this issue so as to ensure consistent leadership and direction over the preparation for and organization of all-level party congresses ahead the 14th National One. Prior to the plenary session in the morning, the Politburo announced its decision to assign General Long Kuang, Politburo member and director of the General Department of Politics of the Vietnam People's Army to join the Party Central Committee's secretariat and hold the position of its permanent member. Additionally, Secretary of the Party Central Committee and current chief of its office Le Ming Hung will assume the role of head of the Party Central Committee's Organization Commission while retaining his current position. The Party Central Committee considered the termination of positions and duties for Trung T. Mai, Politburo member and member of the 13th Party Central Committee. During the session, the committee elected four additional members to the 13th Politburo. They are Le Ming Hung, Secretary of the Party Central Committee, Head of the Party Central Committee's Organization Commission and Chief of the Party Central Committee's Office, Nguyen Trong Mia, Secretary of the Party Central Committee and Head of the Party Central Committee's Commission for Information and Education, Bui Thi Ming Wai, Secretary of the Party Central Committee and Head of the Party Central Committee's Mass Mobilization Commission, and Do Vun Chien, Secretary of the Party. Central Committee and President of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Central Committee. It decided to impose disciplinary measures on several high-ranking members. The ninth session is set to last until May 18. The same day, the Standing Committee of the National Assembly approved and issued a resolution to terminate the parliamentary duties of Trung Thi Mai in the 15th National Assembly. Vietnam brought in 2.7 billion US dollars from exporting aquatic products in the first four months of 2024, representing a year-on-year -year increase of 6%, the Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers has reported. In April alone, the country's aquatic product exports reached 770 million US dollars, a year-on-year -year rise of 4%. Exports of tuna, tra fish, crab, and shell mollusks all recorded positive growth compared to the same period last year. Notably, tuna exports in April surged by 28% to 86 million US dollars, lifting the total export value of the product in the last four months to over 300 million US dollars. Shrimp exports earned 285 million US dollars, the highest value since early this year. Meanwhile, the number of tra fish orders from the U.S. market has bounced back after Vietnamese tra fish businesses participated in the Seafood Expo North America in March, and the Seafood Expo Global in Spain in late April. However, the export value of squid and octopus, and mollusks with shells decreased by 4% and 2%, respectively, in the January-April period. Starting from May 2024, Gufu National Park in the northern province of Ning Bing has introduced night tours that allow visitors to take the sight of fireflies and rare animals, while enhancing their appreciation of environmental conservation, natural ecosystems and wildlife. Visitors taking the Watch Fireflies and Rare Animals Night Tour can enjoy the sight of millions of fireflies dotting the darkness and observe various other species of wildlife, including deer, moose, mangolins, civets, wild cats, and otters. Visitors will also learn about the park's efforts in rescuing, caring for, and returning these animals into the wild at the National Park. The daily night tours are held from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. to maintain a balance between tourism growth and the preservation of the park's natural ecosystem. Each tour has a maximum of 100 participants and lasts for about one to one and a half hours. Boasting a rich variety of plant life and serving as a habitat for numerous rare animals, Gufuang National Park is now also a promising destination for those who love to see the nature at night. 
And that's it for this edition of BVTV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.